Um, my name is uh, Alexander Albert. I'm a CEO of the company Prestop. And today I'm going to give you a webinar about self-service, self-order kiosks. Not about the technology, not about the, all the models we have, but about solutions. Well, we have a tight schedule, 15 minutes. Uh, so uh, let me uh, start walking to another room so I can start the presentation. So please follow me. Oops. So check the, the temperature. Yep. Good. I'm standing here behind a long stretch touch table made from PCAP touch from the company Displux. This long touch table uh, we use a lot for collaboration and also in digital showrooms. In this case, we are also using the software from a French company called Immersion. As you notice, we work a lot with partners because we don't build software ourselves. As a value added manufacturer, we work very close with touch manufacturers, but also with software partners. In this case, I'm going to use the touch table and the software to start up a video, a video which we shot in our showroom using the AWB kiosk. AWB has installed 65 kiosks. They are not used only as a self-service kiosk, but also the staff is using it very well because they scan products and they get all kinds of information. But you will see that in a video which I'm going to start up now. AWB has basically two websites, their website and their self-ordering kiosk. Today, we're going to focus on, only on the self-ordering part, but there are some skins placed on top of the web shop and website. I'm holding here a can of oil uh, in my hand. And as I told you, um, the staff is also using a lot uh, this kiosk. Why? Because they don't have the knowledge of every product. So they go to the kiosk, they scan it, and it goes directly to the page where the product is sold on the kiosk. So they can get extra information and tell uh, to you as a customer, uh, why should you use this can of oil? In the case I'm a customer and I don't want to take this bottle of uh, oil with me to the cinema or whatever, I can choose to send me this page by filling in my email address to me so that I can um, yeah, finish this order at home or maybe at the cinema when it's a very boring movie. So I fill in the address and I get the link. But the nice thing is also that AMB is collecting my data because I said, yes, I approve that I will receive the newsletter. So what we also as Presto built, it's a value at a manufacturer. We put also some extra uh, value in this kiosk. But let us go back to Alexander's live presentation. We just saw me demonstrating the AMB kiosk where we scan the product, etc. Almost the same feature. Van Haren Shoes is using that. Aaron Lewis from Van Haren Shoes is telling how they are using kiosks in their stores. This video is shot in a store in Amsterdam. So let me start this video and let Aaron do the talking. My name is Aaron, Omnichannel Manager at Van Haren. At Van Haren, we have developed our own omnichannel applications and our kiosks together with Prestop. The actual goal of our omnichannel application is to prevent loss of sale due to out of stock situations. To be honest, extreme conditions, extreme circumstances post Corona have made it difficult to make a very valid analysis of the actual effect. So far, from a quantitative, purely quantitative sales standpoint, but at least the first feedback from both our customer and our employees, super positive. It's used extensively. And the good thing is that we see customers who have used it once, that they are able to check out, create an order completely by themselves the next time. So that really adds to our own self-service concept, which we have in the store. So in the end, I think it's a perfect addition of how we integrate our online channels into our physical stores. We wanted to make the application as customer friendly and as easy as possible. The 99% use case 
is that customers will come up with a shoe they like and want to find out whether or not their size is in stock at this particular store. Here we have a shoe, size 36, not in stock at this particular store. You see, all the others are green, which means you're in stock in this store. Orange means it's not. It is available to all. It's also available in other stores. Let's say our customer doesn't have the time or energy to go to our other store to pick the shoes up there themselves, no problem. We can also simply order the shoes and have them delivered either to the customer's address, home address, or she can have them picked up at this store whenever she wants. Simply press order, fill in the details. I'd like to have it delivered at home. Fill in who I am, the details, etc. Easy does it. Free shipping, free returns. Besides scanning shoes via the barcode scanning function, of course, customers can also easily navigate and search to find shoes they are looking for. Uh, you either navigate via predefined categories, which are consistent to our website, and find the shoe you need, or you simply search. Also, of course, to find the exact shoe you want. Besides the search, of course, you want to know the availability of the product, but there's also more. We can tell you more here about the actual uh, characteristics of the shoe. Uh, you can find out what's good about it and, and what's unique, uh, and therefore it's a perfect extension of our shop display and offers an opportunity to tell our customers a little bit more. Almost say, seems perfect, right? I mean, honestly, reality is that it's never perfect so far. We really need to help in the support of our staff to make this into a success. I mean, that's for me one of the key learnings. So should you be able to ex want to exchange experiences, thoughts, feedback, feel happy to do so. For now, I really thank you for your attention and I hope you can take something away from this. Well, welcome back. You just saw a video from Aaron Lewis from uh, Van Haren Schoenen uh, explaining how they are using uh, this wall kiosk. Uh, by the way, they also have another kiosk with two screens, which I'm going to show you later on in this webinar. Uh, uh, but uh, yeah, they are very uh, happy with the, this kiosk. And also the staff is very well uh, happy with, uh, with the kiosk. But it doesn't go always as well. Uh, we are very happy with this project. Finally, uh, there are 165 kiosks, but we noticed some challenges. One. At this customer called Wellcope, and you will see a photo uh, of this kiosk, is that they decided not to use a payment device. Panara didn't use that either, but these stores are very small and there's a lot of staff walking around. But Wellcope is very big. So a lot of customers see this kiosk as a sort of information kiosk and not as a self ordering kiosk because at the moment they order, the order goes to the cash drawer and not directly online that you can pay contactless or whatever. So we notice that uh, the usage of the, of the kiosk is not so good. Second, the internet connection was very bad. It's changed now, but it was very bad. And that's something also we like to discuss, not only about payment service providers, position of the kiosk, et cetera, et cetera, but very important, we need to talk with IT. IT is important, otherwise you don't have a good yeah, self-service kiosk standing in your theater, hotel, cinema, etc. Because you don't, uh, it's not always fashion, uh, of course, where we need, uh, we use self-order kiosks or quick service restaurants. But why? And then I stop talking because we have a lot of things uh, to show. But why are kiosks used a lot they, uh, nowadays and it will grow even more? That has all to do with stock. Stores want to have less stock in a store. It costs a lot of money. So why not put a self-service kiosk in the store? And there the customers can order. They are used in ordering online, but in this case, standing by buying a kiosk. And the nice thing is they still can feel the product, can fit them, etc. So less stock in the store by using a self-service kiosk. Unfortunately, what we all also see is that there will be less staff, not only in the stores, but also in cinemas, uh, theaters, you name it. 
due to costs. And there, a kiosk, a ticket kiosk, a self-service kiosk can help still in selling the tickets for the museum, etc. But what I already mentioned, we are used even more used after the first lockdown to go shopping online but we still want and we need to go to the shop but we want to have less products in the store because just with it one click to a self-order kiosk you can send them home yeah so basically these are the, uh, the items what we uh, why uh, we see that uh, kiosks are used a lot more But let me go first to another video, the video from Domino Shoes. Sorry, Domino Shoes, pizzas, of course. Domino's is using these uh, kiosks uh, for self-ordering. We all know the kiosk from uh, from, uh, from McDonald's, and they were the first, uh, and they they opened the market massively for us. Why? Because they position the kiosk exactly where you want them. So they have to go, we as a cons uh, custom, uh, consumer have to go to that kiosk to order McDonald's, in this case, a pizza. So let me start up a video from Domino's Pizza and we'll come back later. <laughs> Hi, I'm Elizabeth and today I'm in this beautiful Domino store in Leiden. I'm going to tell you a lot of things about this uh, self-order kiosk from Domino's. We got this kiosk since the beginning of September and from day we saw that it was used intensively. Immediately after the installation of this order kiosk, we saw a very nice and significant increase of our average order value. But the location of the kiosk and the staff training is also key. Our staff need to get used to the fact that they can focus on making the product and the attention shifts from the customer towards the delivery of the order. Due to the location of the order kiosk, visitors walk directly towards the order kiosk and enter their order independently. Domino's and Pressop have developed this order kiosk together. The LED lighting gives a unique and recognizable Domino's branding to it. Because the monitor is completely behind glass, it's very easy to clean. Due to the accessible design, Presto can easily replace parts and provide service where necessary. The order kiosk is not only attractive in design, it also generates significantly more turnover and it's sustainable. Welcome back. I just ordered a pizza here at this kiosk. But as you could see in, uh, in the video from Domino's, they are using Agen. Agen is a payment server provider. Agen uses them online in their stores, but also on their kiosks. And that's base, uh, is a very important uh, fact because uh, that's the first question we ask at customers when they come to us, okay, we don't want to start with the self-ordering kiosk. So we ask, okay, who's your payment service provider? Agen, Worldline, CCV, these are the most used ones here in the Netherlands. But important to know is if they have all a payment device, well, a connection with the payment device, a sort of API. Because without an API, without this physical part, this payment device, there will be no connection when using this one. Of course, there are other possibilities like QR, QR ideal. Like in the Netherlands, we also use Tiki. And, uh, and of course, you can pay contactless. But talking about QR, the disadvantage of ordering to a kiosk is when you need to fill in the address when you order a product. Eh? In the case of the Domino's Pizza, that's no problem. So that's why I'm going to demonstrate to you this latest kiosk, uh, 29 inch, interactive. As you can see, touch, I can get more information. But the nice part also of this kiosk is I can tap here and I can go to this page. Oh, sorry. Not myself, of course. Where am I? Let's return here. I go to this page. In this case, I only fill in uh, my email address, uh, uh, not uh, the complete address due to time. And it, it also uh, goes back to now to the, to the kiosk. Also, this is not what you want, of course, in the store. But in this case, 
I'm going to pay. A pin code, very simple, etc. So I've just bought a watch from almost 900 euros. So the advantage of using this on my mobile phone that nobody can see my address. Well, in the next video, Babette from World Press Photo is going to explain you a bit more about using QR payments, contact payments, etc. Uh, during uh, their exhibition, which was held this year in Amsterdam. So let us watch to the video while I walk back to the couch and look if there were any questions yet asked to us. My name is Babette Warendorf. I'm the account manager exhibitions at WordPress Photo. And we're here at our flagship exhibition in the Nieuwe Kerk in Amsterdam. So when we start our collaboration with ADN, um, we first developed a whole um, donation strategy as this was the first time for us that we were actually reaching out to our visitors to donate. Um, after that, we signed a contract. And once the contract was uh, set up, we had access to this beautiful payment uh, platform where, um, where I myself could actually do generate payment links. Uh, I have never done that before. And I can now say that I can comfortably just um, generate payment links for different amounts, for different time slots. Um, so even uh, nitwits like me can use it then. Um, secondly, what we had to do was deliver the visuals that were implemented in the software. So Presto made the software for us uh, and we delivered uh, the visuals and our messaging uh, that we wanted to sh have shown on the kiosk and the NFC terminal. So all in all, the system was really easy to set up um, and I'm really happy that the, the payment a platform from Adyen is also encompassing all different ways of, of payment. Uh, over there we have an oversight of all the different NFC terminal, the kiosk and the pay by link and that way we can track where people and how people donate. So the kiosk is uh, very easy to use for visitors. You tap the screen um, on the site you can choose three amounts, five euros, ten euros or fifteen euros. Let's say we choose five euros. Here you can decide whether you want to scan a QR code to donate this five euros or pay via terminal. This time I'll pay on the terminal, uh, which is on the side. Continue to the per per terminal. Here it just says um, five euros. I tap the card. It's authorized and it says thank you for your donation. Now afterwards, if you still want to receive a digital receipt or a newsletter, you can uh, sign up with your email address. So we also get their data um, and can reach out to our visitors later on. The other way to donate is when you choose your desired amount uh, to choose the QR code to donate. So you, all you need is your phone on the camera. Um, when you have your camera, it says open in Safari. Uh, there you go to the checkout from the page of ADN. Uh, you can pay by ideal or by credit card in this case. I'll do ideal. You select your bank um, and you say continue to your bank. And after that, you follow the steps of your own bank account. Another way to donate in the exhibition out of the three options that we have is the NFC standalone terminal. This is a super easy way to just tap and pay. You can decide which payment method you use. Either you use a card, uh, you use your phone, your Apple Pay, uh, Google Pay. Um, here we you only have one amount that you can choose. So we decided that we would go for five euros. It's really easy to attract visitors. We decided on our own messaging. Um, I'll just put my card in front of the terminal and wait until I'm thanked for the support. The only thing you need is this little box here, the NFC terminal, it's standalone. There's no one that needs to stand next to it. It's a very anonymous way of donating because no one collects your data. You just tap and pay. And you could use a screen. We uh, use this screen um, to attract more visitors as a slideshow, but you could also hang it next to a poster where you invite people to donate. I'm back on my couch. And as you can see, my pizza has arrived. Um, looks very good, but uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to finish that pizza now. But let me remind you, pizza and beer goes very well so please uh, uh, stay tuned so that you can uh, get your personalized bottle of beer and this boy is already from Ajen and there's a special uh, uh, relation uh, with uh, with uh, with Heineken uh, this is the reason why we give away uh, this this bottle and uh, we recorded um, 
not long ago, but during the lockdown, that they were completely closed. They are open again. Uh, they re recorded a, a video from Matijn, and let's have a look at Matijn, how they are using kiosks in their bottle of your own application. Hello, welcome at the Heineken Experience. My name is Martijn Olte, IT manager for the Heineken Experience. Together with Ajen, Prestop, and my team, we have tried to improve the user experience for having your personalized bottle ordered. The ordering process, we improved so far, so good, with 20% more than we ever did before. Imagine 5,000 visitors coming here, passing by on a regular Saturday, trying to order a bottle. That should be quick, easy, and smooth. And that's what we reached. Ordering a bottle is now so simple as you touch the screen, you select your language. After selecting your language, you get a little bit information on what you can expect. Then you put in your name, simply type it in in the online keyboard. You select the bottle of your preference. We have the star bottle and the classical bottle. And after that, you can go to the payment and either pay by card or pay by QR codes, which you could have pre-ordered by phone and pay by that with the integrated scanner. The experience is very smooth and we can offer this because of the very good cooperation between all the three parties. We improved while we went live already. And after you received the tickets for your order, and the ticket gives you, at the end of the tour, the bottle with your name on it. You can simply go with that to pick up your bottle at the exit at the store. Well, we just saw uh, Martijn uh, in Heineken Experience demonstrating uh, the bottle your own application, which we built, uh, the hardware and the software. And you can see also here a setup uh, of, uh, of the same kiosk built in stainless steel. But let me tell you a bit more about our USBs. As I mentioned, we are value-added manufacturer, so we produce our kiosk. We have IT and software specialists, but we like to develop products. It's not only that we build uh, to order, uh, we develop new products. And we like to differentiate ourselves. So in this case, uh, well, not this case, we all our products are um, uh, with edge-to-edge -edge glass. That means it's fully glass. It's easy to clean. But more important, we think that the monitor behind is very simple to exchange. So it's very durable. Uh, so edge to edge, durable, and it looks good. Also a nice USB from our kiosk is that we have a, a sort of model of front in it. And we can integrate a uh, payment device, in this case, we even integrated a gel uh, dispenser. So let me gel, uh, put a bit of gel on my hand. It's not on it, but otherwise I have my hands. This is the old one, the monitor built into a monitor of a kiosk. And you see the metal and there's the, mon the monitor. And you always have a gap where it comes dirt in it. And that's what we don't want. For all the cases uh, where people don't want to use gel or whatever, we built to clean our hands, of course, this touch pen dispenser. Uh, comes automatically this touch pen. And with this touch pen, you can easily touch the screen, I select uh, the uh, Netherlands, et cetera, et cetera. You just saw that in the video of Martijn, how it's used. But of course, we have a lot of more, a uh, lot of things more. Huh? We are a value added manufacturer, and we like to also build products like these interactive mirrors. There you see me, there you see Robbie. Also an interactive uh, uh, mirror, but with a delayed uh, mirror effect. Uh, you can see that uh, with the camera. So here we are in a room where we uh, demonstrate all kinds of custom solutions, uh, custom solutions uh, which we built ourselves, like uh, this one uh, has two screens in, uh, in one unit, and both are interactive. And this setup uh, can be seen in the new store from State of Art Menswear. Uh, they have installed a massive uh, pity wall, and between a pity wall and this uh, touch unit, there's a Porsche. Uh, but you, when you look at the brand, you understand why they are so Porsche-minded. Here we have two screens, and basically this is also a sort of self-service unit, because uh, this is Astrid, and Astrid now has uh, a green uh, coat on it, but I don't like the color, I prefer pink. 
I prefer that she has uh, red shoes and I want also um, another pant. And the nice thing is it calculates uh, instantly also the price. So when we have connected also QR payment, etc., I can buy this beautiful set all in pink, but no, not an all in pink, but also with red shoes. Those one by two screens are set up with 55 inch touch tiles, which we also uh, install. Um, and in this case, uh, we're using it in, in one by two to promote T-Double the Steel. But uh, all of these products we're going to show you in another webinar, or if you want, please contact us so that we can demonstrate you live uh, so that you have your own private tour. But let us guide, uh, let me guide you to another room. Well, we are now in a room where we can demonstrate you other uh, self-order uh, solutions, uh, but not always in, in, in the shape you, uh, you know, uh, but also a, a room where we demonstrate all kinds of other products uh, like this, uh, this curved screen. Did we sell it? No, but uh, please buy it. <laughs> Let's say other uh, products like these, uh, but let me first uh, show you uh, also products which we yeah, maybe also can uh, use in a self-ordering uh, situation, but in this case we use it uh, just yeah for inspiration, uh, like for uh, in this case it works with uh, with object recognition. Uh, firstly, I'm not going to tell you uh, a lot about this product, uh, but uh, you can always uh, call or send us an email if you want to have a, a private tour that can be online or uh, just visit us. We are located in Eindhoven. Um, the same is with this product. Uh, no. This can be also a self-service uh, kiosk. Uh, uh, in this case, I'm um, touching this long stretch screen and this robot is picking up uh, a watch so that I can have a look at it. And uh, yeah, well, maybe in the future we'll have a solution that uh, the, the, the robot drops the watch and uh, after you have paid. Huh? So it can be a self-service unit, just in this case, just to show what's possible. These are more the standard products. Huh? You just uh, saw the product uh, with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with the gel dispenser. In this case, we have uh, the, the payment engine and, and a barcode scanner where we scan products and it pops to the product which is scanned. Wall unit, which uh, Van Haar is, uh, is using, interactive video wall, which I'm not going to demonstrate because I would like to demonstrate this one. This is our most popular kiosk because it has two, uh, two screens. One, a digital signage screen, but it's an interactive uh, digital signage uh, screen. They can have more information about this uh, product. We'll start the video, uh, but it's very useful to promote what you are selling here on this 24 inch touch screen, yeah? also edge to edge glass. Uh, it's combined also with a barcode scanner, and in this case, a payment device from Worldline. A standard kiosk, which we sell. This is not standard. Uh, it's just a converted uh, unit where we initially charge the phone. So with, uh, we call it our vending machine. In this case, you can buy even a watch. Uh, so uh, I already put uh, talk, uh, my, uh, my uh, contactless uh, pass, by the way. I fill in a pin, 0000, easy for you uh, to remember. And voila. I just bought me a watch and I can walk outside. Um, just a demo. The same is this unit. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate you very quickly because this works with RFID. So uh, we think, also think that uh, this will be used more and more in the, in the future. Uh, you can place it over here, put this one over here, and it even works with object recognition. Way too complex, but Again, it demonstrates what you all can do, like, like this interactive mirror with, uh, with this screen. So a lot of products, can we combine it with, with ordering? Yes, QR codes, uh, my phone, fill in the address, pay, et cetera, and I've bought myself a watch. So uh, yeah, but uh, let us go back to the couch so that we can ask.
of answers on questions, sorry. switch from that is always uh, a challenge and uh, I just heard also uh, in the beginning that there were uh, issues uh, with uh, with the sounds uh, sorry I uh, was welcoming our, our guests from uh, uh, from Romania from France uh, from Portugal from all over the world uh, so my apologies that you missed the, the, the first part because you're the most important part our visitors and our clients uh, I hope uh, that you uh, enjoyed this webinar and uh, as I mentioned, keep on asking questions because I can answer them uh, live 